Welcome to my first ever Make It Better video. Basically what I will be doing in this video, in these videos, is taking a movie that I generally thought could have been made better if they made different decisions, telling you what those decisions they should have made were, and pretty much making my own changes to the movie. Yeah, pretty much that's what I'm going to be doing in these videos. Anyways, these videos will obviously contain spoilers for the actual movie, so there's the spoiler warning, and I will be doing first Frozen. The first change I would have made as soon as I saw the script, the finished script, would have been Hans as the villain. <laughs> Hans as the villain never really made sense to me. I mean, he didn't really come across as a villain, and I know it's supposed to be some sort of twist or whatever, but... Just because it's a twist doesn't mean it's good. Honestly, I thought Hans made a very weak villain and the twist wasn't really all that good to begin with. So, no. No, Hans is not the villain. In fact, I don't think there was anything actually wrong with how he was starting out. Like, him being the romantic interest for... Anna, one of the sisters in the movie. I don't know, you, you, pretty much everybody knows that. Anna's character, I honestly, I said I wouldn't change at all. She's fine the way she was. It was just having her build up that romance with Hans in the beginning of the movie, and then suddenly at the ending, he's the villain all along that never really made much sense to me plus she has a lot more chemistry with him than the other guy Christopher Christoph Christopher yeah that's his name let's go with that let's just call him Chris you know because he is not a very good romantic interest in this movie seriously like, I don't know how you could pull his character off at all it's just why there was nothing wrong with the Hans and Anna relationship. So, why have him, Hans, suddenly go villain and have Chris be the romantic interest in? Oh, it's just, it's mind boggling how they could mess up something so simple and well received. And I know even amongst fan, people who actually like this movie, that. They even were like scratching their heads, like, really? It's like, him being ending up the romantic interest and Hans being the villain? I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> you know, if you gonna have. Chris in the movie at all, and not have him as the ranking, and just, you know, he's gotta have some major role. I know he takes Anna to the trolls, which we'll get into later, but anyways, <clears throat> it's just, maybe, I think probably the most important thing, because Elsa has these, the other sister has these, like, ice powers, obviously, everybody knows that, and she freezes the entire kingdom or whatever and Chris's job is an ice farmer it's like why would he why would he want to help in bringing an end to this winter so soon when he could like stockpile a bunch of ice and as soon as the winter comes to an end after he stockpiled all this ice he'd be like rolling in cash I don't know he's not that smart of a character either it's like, like, really? It's like, he, he's more 
fits the role of the best friend sort of thing. And, but I guess I would keep him in the movie just as long. And not really change his character all that much. Just don't have him wind up with Anna at the end, for God's sake. <laughs> Oh, hey, yeah, speaking of best friend characters, what was the reason for the reindeer to be there at all? Like, why? They don't really need the reindeer for anything. It has no real story importance. It's just, I guess, a cute and fluffy creature for the kids to look at. But its character is really pointless, and... If I were to have it in the movie, well, actually, that wouldn't happen in the movie because there's no reason for it to be there. It's time wasted on that thing could be used to develop other important char characters, like make Chris something other than a lovable, goofy ice farmer. Yeah, there you go. Cut the reindeer out, or at least make its part smaller, because you can't really develop a reindeer's character since it doesn't even speak in the movie I think I don't <laughs> I don't know why it's there it's to distract you oh speaking of distract Olaf the undisputed god of distractions and the undisputed most annoying character in this entire movie what is with recent Disney films trying to add in this lovable, goofy, comedic character and generally failing at making him lovable and funny? Olaf is just one, they chose the worst possible voice actor to do this. Seriously, it sounds like nails on a chalkboard every time he speaks. That, and he interrupts some of the most important scenes in the movie just to dish out a random joke that pertains to the situation or interrupt a very important character developmental conversation just so he can try and get a few laughs out of the audience. Which, no, nobody is laughing at his joke because he just interrupted a, oh my god, Anna and Elsa are about to see each other for the first time after Elsa runs away. What is Olaf doing? No, shut up. Shut up. Ruins dramatic moments in the movie, seriously. And even when he's not ruining the dramatic moments with some joke that we really didn't want to hear, his jokes in any comedic situations in the movie fall flat too. So either what I would have changed was Oh, for one, making him have less of a role in the movie. Two, he does not interrupt dramatic moments in the movie. And three, get a different person to voice him. That, or at least, tell the person he was voicing him not to be so annoying. <laughs> Alright, now that I've chewed Olaf's character out, and all that, and if you, that couldn't have honestly been accomplished, my suggestions couldn't have honestly have been accomplished, then don't put him in the movie. Plain as simple as that. Right. I suppose now we should move on to the other main character of the movie, Elsa. This is honestly where I would make probably the most important change in the movie. So Han's not the villain anymore. Who has to be? Well, I don't know. Maybe the lady who was locked away by her own parents because they refused to teach her how to control her powers despite the fact that the trolls... Yes, remember those little bastards? Yeah, despite the fact that the trolls made the parents practically promise and swear to help her learn to control her powers. Which, of course, they respond by, Oh, you have to wear these gloves constantly. 
Oh, we gotta lock you away in this room so you don't ever encounter anyone else. That really helped her out during that whole crowning ceremony, didn't it? Anyways. She has the perfect reason to be the villain. Villainess? Yeah, the villainess of the movie. Ugh. Plus, it would have made made so much more sense if they had made Elsa's story arc in the movie a redemption arc because of the whole almost killing Anna thing yeah do you remember that how they pretty much just like made it seem like it's like oh I didn't know I struck her despite the fact I was looking right at her when she collapsed and all that and I don't know it would have looked way better if Elsa had been shown just like not caring, because, I mean, Anna just, like, wanted to lock, to take her away and lock her back up in the room, pretty much, and, um, well, Elsa has the main, a very good reason for being the villain, instead of Han's original reason, which, what was it, greed, lust for power, I guess greed and lust for power are pretty much the same thing, but, anyways, you could have done so much with Elsa's story arc, and I would have done so much with that. Plus, ordinary human male compared to a freaking ice supernatural powered woman who has reason for wanting revenge on the kingdom. Yeah, I'm starting to see who would be a better villain. And it definitely would have been Elsa. But she could have had the whole, like, she learned her lesson with Anna almost dying and she repents and... You know, that would have made so much more sense for Elsa being the one to save her Anna from being frozen and all that. Well, frozen to death and all that. Mm. Oh, hey, yeah! Remember that one thing, the one group of characters that I've been mentioning all throughout this video? The trolls, that's right. No, they're dwarves. That's right, dwarves. That's what they are, I think. Um, they're ugly. I know that. But I remember a very certain song of theirs. Remember there's dwarfs, yeah, that sung that song. It's all catchy and all that. And you sit back and listen to the lyrics and realize that they're singing about how Chris should make love to Anna, despite the fact that Anna at the time is technically engaged to Hans. And keep in mind, we don't know Hans is the villain at this point yet. They sung in a song in support of an affair. So yeah, maybe since the Thors really didn't help Anna at all towards the end of the movie, maybe they should just like not even be in the movie, or better yet, uh, just put them in the movie to explain how Anna has to be saved. And how's about not? Have them sing a song about having an affair. There. I said my piece. Those are the things I would have changed about Frozen. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.